Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. I hope you're well. Guess what? We've got a couple of days of sunshine. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. I think it's all right for the next few days. So we'll enjoy it while we can. We'll moan we're too hot, but we'll like it really. <laughs> so, morning, me. Beautiful Flora. Pat Peggy and everybody. Little Bubba bless him. Little mental health check in. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, yeah, I like to cause myself a bit of extra stress. So today we're going to the glasses shop, but not the glasses shop where I've ordered my sunglasses from. We're going to the glasses shop where um, I didn't order any glasses last time, but they had a lot of nice frames. Anyway, they saved me these two frames. And then they messaged me last week saying, was I still interested in them? And I said, well, I would actually like to come and have another look. So they made me an appointment for last week, but obviously I was too poorly to go. So they rearranged it for today. I still don't really feel very well. I'm better than I was, but I'm still coughing. I'm still a bit croaky. You can hear it still on my chest and stuff. Um... But I thought, well, I'll just nip. So it's about 40 minutes away from where I live. Probably not going to order any glasses anyway, but I was just curious to see the price of them um, and just to try them on again because they were really nice. They were like a, a whitey light sort of colour. I thought they were really nice for like summer and stuff. And sometimes it's nice to have more than one pair of glasses, but then I'm scared to order any more glasses because it took six months to get the other pair out. So I don't know. I don't think I can cope with the stress. So that's why I've sort of said about it because it's i want to do it but i don't want to do it so big hugs with mental health it, it does stop you doing things and it's so bloody frustrating so big hugs if you're struggling um so calendar of the day i can't believe it's 17th of july we've got it takes effort to live the life of your dreams exactly what i've just said so anxiety stops you doing things but then you have to force yourself and then you think i'm glad that i did that so i know we've inspired a few people on here to face the their demons even if it's something simple like just going shopping to like a busy shopping place and it fills you with dread and you go well done honestly it's so horrible mental health it makes me so cross some people just wander through life and don't seem to have any issues and yet you've got us here that are like oh i don't even want to go there and it's just horrible so big hugs so uh take make the effort and live the life of your dreams black cab wisdom um did we read that yesterday uh, I don't know if we read that yesterday or not. Let me just check. So, I checked. No, we didn't read this one yesterday. We shall not cease to explore, and at the end of all of our exploring, we will be to return to where we started and know the place for the first time. Ah, that's so lovely. Right, so, Baby Yoda, let's turn the radio down. Are you ready? Take a moment, take a breath. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely Wednesday. Right, breakfast. So, breakfast this morning. Isn't it beautiful outside? Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay here. Uh, right, so this morning we've got 30 grams of brown flakes um, and a brown flake for your friends. So, lovely Florence. I cleaned all her ears last night, so she's feeling very young and fancy now, aren't you? Lovely clean ears. Bless her. Dolly, do you want a brown flake? Eee, there you go. So, we need to eat our breakfast. Um, and then pretty much need to get going. So the sooner we go, the sooner we come back, really. Right, here I am. I still don't feel very well. Oh, it's horrible. Right, so literally the day today is, I thought this on again, literally because I keep having to blow my nose. And if I put normal lipstick on, I'm just going to wipe it off. I keep wiping all the makeup off my nose and everything. It's a nightmare. So I've got on Avon True Power Stay Lip Colour in Can't Quit Cafe and Fairly Bates. So I love them when they're mixed together. They're really, really nice. Hopefully they won't come off and blow my nose. And Dolly knows I'm going out without a look at her face. <laughs> right, we really need to get going. Right, made it into the car. So I've got my sparkly t-shirt on. I forgot to show you. It's really sweet when the light hits it. I don't know what it means. Um sure what it actually says i hope it's something nice <laughs> right 40 minute drive here we are 
we've arrived so just need to get a ticket and then we'll go i'm so nervous this is the other side of anxiety you might look all right but inside i'm like oh my heart's pounding and i just feel all funny it's horrible but i'm going because i want to go so anxiety can <coughs> let's go I do like these, they're cool. <laughs> it's nice to, well, to have something different, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You should do what you drink, then you can do. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not that Sandwich or whatever, yeah. fancy. Yeah. yeah.
Back in the car. It's two o'clock. I can't even believe it's two o'clock. I've been here far too long. I don't feel very well. I desperately need to blow my nose. But the lady in the glasses shop was so lovely. We were like best friends. And I was in there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, messing about trying glasses on. And time just flew. We talked about handbags, glasses. She was adorable. Absolutely adorable. Some people in life you just meet and you just get on. And we just did. It was really weird. But she was lovely. Anyway, so I've been far too long. Because when I left there, then I went in the shop. Then I had to find some for tea. Uh, because we're supposed to have in 
curry for tea tomorrow night but then it's gonna be really hot tomorrow so i thought i don't want curry tomorrow so we're not having curry tomorrow so i'm gonna have chicken wraps tomorrow and then i have to get something for tea tonight which i've just picked up like a pasta meal thing uh whatever i bought sweet and sour chicken i can't remember oh i need i need to go home i'm dying for a wee let's go home right we're home i can't believe it's 20 to 3 i can't believe it today has just gone poof so I'm now I've got to do the washing up. I've got to open the dishwasher. Um, I've got to take my friend for a walk. I don't want to say the word too loudly. I haven't even had a coffee. <laughs> and the rest of my washing is out. Oh, it's so nice out here. So nice to feel a bit of warmth. So I'm missing you for five minutes. I think we deserve it. We'll see you for a minute. Right, I think they wanted a treat. <laughs> she didn't have a dinner time treat, did you? Because I had a little ham cob on my way home. There you go. There you go, Winifred. There's your little dinner time treats. <laughs> oh, don't drop it, Winnie. Lovely jubbly. Right, I must be mad. But all three of us are going for a little stroll. Yes, you have to walk slowly because of Florence. Right, let's go. Golly, golly, shush. Shh. Come on, man. Golly, stop barking at everything. made it back i didn't realize when the sun came out it was as hot as it was it was probably a little bit too hot to walk them but we did only walk very very slowly and i did carry florence for some other way but it was a bit warm oh there was a bit of drama and i really don't like drama so there's an absolutely lovely lady that i talked to around the corner and she's got two dogs she's on her own and she's just had a hip replacement and her dog barks a bit sometimes and obviously when my dog's there her, and her dogs bark as well because they like talk to each other and the man across the road is really horrible to her and he came out and started filming her because her dogs were barking and I found it so uncomfortable and obviously I had to cut our conversation short so that I could go and obviously he was filming me as well and I think but the poor woman mm -hmm. had done nothing wrong literally her dog was barking that was all and Obviously, when we'd gone, then the dog shuts up. That poor lady, she, sa she said to me, I really wish that I didn't live here anymore. And I felt so bad for her because she's lived here for such a long time. And her husband died a few years ago and she's all on her own. And I thought, that is absolutely awful. So that made me feel very uncomfortable. I didn't really know what to say because I also know the man and the lady that were filming her. And I do talk to them sometimes and it put me in a really awkward position. So I didn't really say anything to the people filming and I just walked away, which my mum always says, don't like, get into a drama, just walk away, which is what I did. But I felt it so uncomfortable. And you think, all oh, right, I was filming her, but what was the point of filming her? What What are you going to achieve? Oh, it was so uncomfortable. Anybody else been through something like that? It was awful. <laughs> when you're too hot to be in your bed, but you like being in your bed, so you have to hang out. <laughs> so, Ruby's home from school. I'm allowing her one of my chocolates. But you can't have the yellow one, because that's my favourite. Okay. You can have one of them, or you can have a ball. What do you want? I don't need one, I don't know what flavour they are. Uh, tongue underneath. And I just realised that the menu comes out. It's very fancy, so you can lift it out and see what they are. They're all absolutely beautiful, Gloria. I've enjoyed every single one of these. I've only got three left, and I'm about to eat these. Oh, lovely. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my lazy tea. So I've got a bit of garlic bread and this sweet and sour chicken that I bought from Iceland I think they were only about a pound they were really cheap but I thought oh I'll give it a go see what they like so Ruby had the pasta so it was lovely so I'll let you know what I think to this wow well, it's eating time my tea I'm so shocked at how absolutely delicious that was and I even had Iceland by homemade garlic bread and it was absolutely gorgeous Winifred there you go I cannot believe those meals were a pound and it was absolutely delicious, really, really tasty. And the garlic bread was also not very expensive at all. I would definitely be going back to Iceland 
for some quick meals. It was so nice. So that was the garlic bread. I'm sure it was in like one pound something. I've, I've got to do my hobbies when he gets back, so that's why I've still got some. And that was the sweet and sour chicken. It was absolutely delicious. Okay, what did we buy today? So I bought a few, didn't really buy much, but I thought, bought a few little random things. I bought this. Here's some ours. We went, what on earth have you bought that for? I was like, I just really like it because it's just so like random. Um, I love it. And literally you probably fit like a couple of little like dry flowers in it, but it'll look really cute. I've got a hair colour. So I've bought the Garnier Gourd. Um, and the colour of this one is six machino brown i think i've used this one before um i've got this one and then i've also got the red one in the cupboard like the albany one not sure which one i want to do yet but i thought i've got them both in now so i can decide when i get the urge to colour my hair i bought an erasure cd love erasure so i've got that for my car i do love a good old-fashioned cd i got some fancy toothpaste to lighten up my teeth um i got this which I can't believe I got this. So it came in a box um, and it is, I don't know if any of you recognise it. Dun, 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 dun. I had one of these for my birthday. It's a bookmark and I love it so much. I keep meaning to say about it and I keep forgetting. These have got like little sparkly crystals in them. And when you're reading, um, my little light catches the, the little ball and they shine so much. They're so pretty. It's got butterfly on it. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I'd love to give my mum one of these for her birthday. And I got this from the charity shop. I cannot believe it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love mine so much. So thank you so much for gifting me mine for my birthday. And I cannot believe I managed to get one for my mum. I love it so much. So I'm put it away for my mum's birthday. But absolutely beautiful. And then I bought this. Dun, 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 dun. So it's a little denim bag. It's only a Primark one. Um, but denim bags are really like cool at the minute. And I thought it doesn't wear anything at all. It's really nice and lightweight. And I thought with a summer outfit, it'll be really nice. Obviously, I've got some really fancy bags. But sometimes it's just nice to have one that you can just throw on and go. Um, and I thought that I can do that with this. It's really, really nice. I really like it. It's quilted and everything. And yeah, it's only Primark. But I love it. It's really cool. So that was everything I bought. So I am going to love any of you. Otherwise, this video will be far too long. So many thanks for being there with me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, the lady in the glass shop was absolutely adorable. So she surprised me up some glasses and if i fancy another pair i can have another pair do i need another pair mm, yes and no i think it's good to have more than one pair obviously i've still got my hexagon ones um but they're very very scratched and then i think it's nice to have some different ones so which ones did you like there was like the lighter creamy ones there was the white ones and then there was also the black like aviator ones so I really really like the black aviator ones the lady in the shop liked the black aviator ones because they're totally different to these whereas the white ones and the beige ones were very similar to these that i've already got so i do like the black ones i was quite tempted i'm not sure but what did you think um anyway so if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with its ups and downs and it's pulliness horrible can't wait to feel better um then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady my website is down below and my little avon shop is down below so i love you leave you i'll see you tomorrow thanks for being there with me bye